Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your very first jQuery tutorial. In this set of tutorials, I'll be teaching you guys the basics of jQuery and we will learn how to program an interactive website using jQuery. I hope you're already familiar with HTML and JavaScript, so that would be easier for you guys to follow along. But if you're not, um, don't be upset, it's not going to be a problem since this course is for beginners. Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and take a look of jQuery and see what all are these options we have. We can either add our jQuery to a website using this quick access, just copy this path and paste it um, in a script tag in your HTML document. Uh, it doesn't have this um, protocol specification, so it doesn't say HTTP or HTTPS, which means that, um, for instance, if a user goes to a website using HTTPS, jQuery would, will be added uh, via HTTPS as well. But um, sometimes it's useful to download it especially if you're hanging out with your laptop somewhere outside and developing some stuff and your, your internet connection is either lame or uh, there's no connection at all you can take advantage of jQuery stored locally on your computer so let's just click the download link there are two versions of jQuery currently jQuery 1 and jQuery 2 jQuery 2 is modern but it doesn't support old browsers like Internet Explorer 6, 7 or 8 unfortunately. So this is one of the reasons why I personally choose jQuery 1. Now you have to decide which package of jQuery you guys want to download. You can take a look um, at the, the uncompressed development version of jQuery and you can read all this code and it has all these commands so you can try to understand how jQuery works but um, regular developers never need that. I usually download jQuery uh, compressed. It's pretty much the same, it just doesn't have the commands and the code is compressed, but it has the same functionality, so I usually download this one. Um, every time I have a project, I start a project, I create a directory called JS within my project directory and JS stands for JavaScript and I I store my jQuery file into this directory so now I download it and let me create an HTML document for our project I will call it index.html create a basic structure and say jQuery tutorials and now let's add our jQuery it's pretty simple it's like as if you would add an external JavaScript source to your project which is stored locally so let's add it JS yeah so I have this name of it in my clipboard now our HTML document is ready to go it has jQuery in it and um, we are basically done and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys like simple functionality of jQuery and all the basics you uh, have to know so that's it I hope you liked it and if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask I'll be looking forward to answer them and um, yeah that's it so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one